Hi, my name is Jay with Server Matter and CompuMatter. Um, this is a story that needs telling. If you use Samba as your uh, Active Directory and Domain Controller and you use Samba's internal DNS, not bind, although it may apply to bind, I don't know, but that's our setup. And then all of a sudden, nothing works. Just all of a sudden, out of the blue, you can't browse your shares, you can't visit websites because the DNS has failed. You can ping Google uh, at their IP 8.8.8, .8 but you can't go to any websites. You haven't done anything. You haven't changed anything. You haven't modified a file. You can't think of your rack your brain. Why did everything just break? And you start digging into log files and dmessage and, and every other um, thing that you can think of doing. Uh, you restart the server, you restart um, Samba, and so on and so forth. These are all things that I've gone through this evening uh, in a panic mode. Uh, the developer, worst case scenario, that I had depended on wholeheartedly uh, for my Samba solution uh, ejected. And so uh, this was a couple of months ago. So I knew this was a vulnerability of mine, and it caused me to dig in real deep um, and eventually, I reached out to another developer, um, and we started working through the log files. And boy, did the end result surprise me. Right here, I'm going to get myself out of this loop for a second. Right here, so everything's working fine. This is the Samba log. Nothing but black and white, no errors, no problems at all. Now. I get a little bit of a blip right here on something failed for NT status invalid parameter mix. And we dug into that to start with. But then we, st he, we stumbled on this one a little further down. Invalid permissions on file. Um, uh, and I'm still going to come back to this other one at some point to try to figure out what's going on there. But this invalid permissions on file, and it points to our server certificate file um, for our SSL has 640, should be 600. I'm thinking to myself, well, those are the permissions it's been right along. I certainly haven't changed anything, so that can't possibly be the problem. Well, we dug in a little bit and we take this file path right here, I can get myself out of the loop. Okay, and we'll go ahead and go down to that. Okay, so your, your login is root. You visit this directory right here. You do an LSL and you find out there's symlinks. So then you go ahead and uh, visit this link, this directory. And you take a look at the permissions. And in my case, some of these permissions were in fact 640 as the log file said. And I thought, well, that's odd. Let me look at one of my client's servers. So I come over here and I dig into one of my client's servers. And I'll take a look at there. Okay, we'll get there. And I take a look at... So the very first thing that jumps out at me as in the case of my Clients server and our servers are identical. We sell servers, uh, one of the one of the services we offer, services. So anyway, um, and so I knew ours had to be the same as theirs, and theirs is in a sim link and it's dated September first. Ours was in fact a sim link. Let me get over to the right screen here. Because we're on the uh, there we are up here. So ours is in fact a sim link pointing to an archive folder. And what also stuck out is the dates on our files in each case were November 8th. Now, November 8th for us is yesterday. That's okay, but the bottom line is I didn't do anything yesterday. I haven't touched these files yesterday. That's my uh, developer that I had work on this stuff thanking me for the bonus I just gave him. 
and that tells me that there's something in the system changing it. So evidently, CertBot, either CertBot has a renewal that's automatic if I had uh, set it up that way at the beginning, which is fine, or I have a cron job somewhere in the server that's updating the certs, which is also fine, but in either case, the permissions were set wrong. As soon as we set these permissions to 600, the log files cleared up and things started working perfectly. My domain, I could go, you know, DNS was fine, shared folders were fine, everything was, the entire house of cards fell just as a result of the permissions on these uh, certificates and it happened while everybody was sleeping, if you will. Okay, it is the next day. I'm well rested. I feel very good about having this problem solved. But now I needed to dig in and find out why it happened and ensure that it didn't happen again. I have found out that we have a, uh, a post-renewal hook. Uh, let me give you an example. Is in the directory, let's encrypt, etc. let's encrypt renewal hooks deploy. So only if a domain is renewed, does anything in this directory fire? And they will fire in order of their numerical order as placed within this directory. If in fact you want to number them, you could probably number them anything and who knows what order they'd be run in. Now, uh, when your domain is renewed, it passes this renewed domains line item as a variable. It's a space separated variable. Now we've just gone ahead and put one in there so that we could test this script and see if it works. But this you can assume will automatically be sent to the hook file. And then uh, at the beginning, this is what we had in there before and this is what caused our problem. In every domain on this server, the post renewal hook will set permissions to 640. It looks for this particular file, uh, directory and sets them to 640 because evidently it's presumed that upon renewal time, the original, um, all scripts, all uh, certs rather, will be deposited in the archive file, but the pem key, um, uh, the private key dot pem will remain in its original form and be in the live directory and symlink to whatever the latest renewal is that's sitting in the archive directory. So we only need to pay attention to the archive directory and we need to change that to 600. But I'm going to leave the original script at 640 um, because I'm not. In, uh, I'm guessing uh, the freelancer that we had involved. I, res I respect his uh, knowledge that he had a reason for that. But this is one that he didn't know about and has come up to bite us. And so we've got a for loop in here. We're going to go through that reno uh, renewed domains uh, array. Uh, and uh, find out which one, which domain matches the domain that runs our uh, DNS server and change it to 600 specifically. And that'll look like this when it's run. All right, that, that gives us confirmation that it found a match on that particular domain. So it's gonna set them to 600 and that should hopefully be the end of our problem. All right, well, um, that's it in a nutshell, the end of the saga. I don't know if this will have anything to do with your problem, but, but uh, we're glad we've at least isolated what was causing it. And this should uh, allow us to be totally hands off about it and uh, make sure that permissions as the DNS server requires are in fact placed on this particular cert. So uh, my, my advice to you is, um, Hopefully this is your problem and your problem solved. But if it's not, my advice to you is to carefully pass the log.samba file uh, in or around the time when you first noticed your domain failing uh, and your, your um, shares failing. And it will probably give you a popcorn trail in the same way that this gave me. A big shout out to Francis Garcia in the Dominican Republic um, for coming up with this in the log files. And, uh, and if you need a freelancer to troubleshoot some issues, what a great guy. What a great guy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.